Hi, I'm Eric with the Hedge Invest Africa Opportunities Fund and giving you the update for November. The fund was up about 70 basis points and the top contributors were our Egyptian and Nigerian treasury yields. They yield about 13 to 15 percent and the currencies have been stable. Another good contributor has been the Kenyan infrastructure bonds. They yield about 10 percent and the Kenyan shilling has also been stable. During the month there was a big rally in Nigerian bank stocks so our investments in GT and Standard Bank were also good contributors. The only negative was our investment in Zambian government bonds. We have a small investment there. We like the 27% yield, but the currency has been quite weak and we trimmed that position slightly during the month. Overall, the fund is about 90% invested in African government bonds with 60% of that in local currency debt with a 15% yield. Then we have 26% of the, of the bonds in US dollar denominated debt with a 7.4% yield and then another 16% in euro denominated government bonds with a 6.4% yield. Overall, the bond portfolio has a yield of 12% and a duration, a modified duration of four years. We're generally quite uh, careful about African equities and we only have a 6% allocation to African equities. Uh, the South African market in particular has been quite weak. It's down 10% from April. There's been a big switch from the euphoria surrounding the election of President Ramaphosa in 2017 to now a lot of negativity around the strikes and power cuts from ESCOM. We always knew this was going to take several years to turn South Africa around, so we're very skeptical about the initial euphoria, which makes the current pessimism and low valuations quite interesting. Furthermore, the uh, Inflation rate in South Africa has fallen to just 3.7%, so this is putting pressure on the South African Reserve Bank to reduce its repo rate from 6.5%. So that could be a positive for the domestic stocks next year, such as retailers and banks. Another market we like is Egypt. That market is also down 10% from April. This is despite 350 basis points of rate cuts from the Central Bank of Egypt from 16.75% down to 13.25%. So these lower interest rates could be good next year for the property companies, construction, retailers, and uh, also the automotive companies in uh, Egypt. Um, another market that's very depressed and at very low valuations is Nigeria. I'm not sure what the positive catalyst could be, but if some good news came along, it would be very uh, good for the market. So there are lots of good opportunities for 2020, and we're quite excited, and we hope it's a good year. Thank you very much.